Hey, I'm Bob and I like to make stuff. Today I'm gonna to show you how to automate your dust collection with one of these and one of these. So a while back I made my own dust collection system and you can check that out right here. In that system, every tool has a blast gate in front of it so that I can turn the suction on and off individually for each tool. Now the problem is that means that they're spread out all over the shop and if you want to use one, you have to make sure that all the other ones are closed. So in this project I'm going to use an Arduino and some servos to manage all of them at the same time from one place. It's kind of hard to see because it's spread out all over the shop, but let's go through it a piece at a time and let's start with what you need. So you can start out with a breadboard an Arduino, a membrane keypad, and some servos. You can get all these from newark.com and I'll have a link in the description for all of them. You're also gonna need some 16 gauge wire and some aluminum blast gates. Each servo comes with three different arms and I use this straight arm. So just go ahead and add those to each one of the servos. They just push right on. Then you wanna add individual wires into the header of the keypad. This is how you're gonna connect it to the Arduino. Now we're going to work backwards here. This is the whole thing put together. But I wanted to show you that when you press 1, they all close, and then servo 1 opens. And when you press number 2, servo 1 closes, servo 2 opens. Now all the other ones act the exact same way. I also added controls to star and pound so that I can open or close all the servos at one time. This will help if I need to flush the system or when it's first turned on. Now this looks really complicated. There's a lot of wires here, but it's actually really simple. So what we're going to do is break this down so I can show you the most basic components. So here it is in its most basic form. You have the input pad connected to the Arduino by eight wires. And the signals are sent in when you push a button through those wires, and they go into a header on the Arduino. Now the computer inside the Arduino takes that input and does some calculation based on the code that you write, and then it sends out a control signal to the right pin to tell each servo what to do. So next I have to combine these two things. I'm going to make a plate that fits right in this area so the servo can sit right there. I used some quarter inch plywood and cut off the corner so I could fit it closer to the blast gate. And once I had it there, I could trace out the shape. Trace out where the servo was going to go and then cut it all out. Then I took out the two screws where the plate was going to fit. This way I could hold it in place and mark where the two holes needed to be drilled in the plate. With wood this thin and drilling so close to the edge, take your time so you don't split it. Next set the servo in place and then attach it with the screws that came with the servo. I connected the plate with some smaller diameter screws that were quite a bit longer so they would fit through the wood and the blast gate. Next you're going to want to drill a hole in the end of the gate so you can connect it to the servo. Using the 16 gauge wire, which just happens to be the same diameter as the hole in the servo arm, you bend it around and make it fit into the hole on the blast gate. This is a lot of trial and error, getting the right curve, getting the right shape, getting it to sit in the right place, but play around and you'll get it figured out. Now the servo activates the gate. Then you do the same for the rest of your blast gates. Once it's all hooked up, this is how it works. When you're ready to install this in your shop, you're going to have to move the blast gates away from the controller. I use some thermostat wire to extend the servo wires because it's 3 conductor and it's 18 gauge, which is just about perfect. You can strip them down and plug them right into the servo. The other end goes right into the Arduino. You're going to have to do some cable management when you install these. I went back with zip ties and made sure to pull the cables up against the hose and get them out of the way. You don't want them to get snagged on anything or fall out of place. The keypad has some nice adhesive on the back of it, and so I was able to stick it right to my bench, right next to my switch for my dust collector. This is how it works. Now I understand that not everybody has a dust collection system and so you may not think this is relevant to you, but the point is not dust collection, the point is automation. The great thing is that you can take a microcontroller like an Arduino and some servos and you can automate anything in your house with very little effort. 
You'll notice that there was no soldering in this either. Everything was just a wire stuck into a header. So nothing is permanent. Everything can be reworked at any time. And you don't even have to have a soldering iron. You just need some wire. So even if you don't need a dust collection, I would challenge you to think of something in your house, even something small like Venetian blinds, and think about something that you can automate at a distance. Or if you have multiple things that you want to automate all from one place, this is a great example of how to do that. I also realize that programming and any kind of wiring are often scary to people, but if you have even a little bit of interest in this, check out the Arduino. It's a great way to get into programming and get into using hardware, and I guarantee you it's not as hard as you think. There are tons of resources, there's a great community, there's a lot of pre-written scripts out there that you can cannibalize and make your own thing. It's really exciting stuff, and I think if you're at all interested, you should give it a shot. And pretty soon I'm going to be doing some more videos on microcontrollers and on circuits in general. So if you're interested, keep an eye out for those. So thanks for watching. If you guys like this one and you want to see more of this type of thing, let me know by hitting the like button down there. If you know someone interested in dust collection or Arduinos or servos or any of this stuff, share this around. I would really appreciate that. That helps me out quite a bit. And if you want to support these videos, there's a lot of ways you can do that right down here. Also, I have more project videos up here for you to check out and a playlist of Brain Pick, my live Q&A show. As always, you can check me out on iliketomakestuff.com that has all the events that I'm going to be doing coming up as well as a lot more content. And be sure to subscribe for more projects. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.